satisfactory. And this game was certainly satisfactory, just like the other game I played with Kites. We're both going to go for that quadruple archery range rush. And man, it's just, just a fun strategy to do. This is also continuation of the 300 sub special. And in this game, guys, you probably already know it from the time, we are going all the way into imperial age but before we get into imperial age let's first talk about the civs a little bit so i'm going for cumin quadruple archery range rush so i'm playing as the cumins in the teal here my teammate kites who i also played last game it was so funny that we actually matched up again uh i just do you know sometimes random when uh, nobody on the discord wants to play and uh, this was one of those games and uh indeed he is also playing as the cumins and is also going for the quadruple archery range rush red over here oh man another one of my rivals that i'm, I'm putting my teeth on top of each other right now because i really don't like playing paladin paladin is about 2.3 k elo in team games absolute monster and goes very very meta playing as the franks in this matchup and every time i play against him it's tough i have beaten him before but i'd say that he probably beats me more than i beat him especially when i'm teamed up with a rando but kites guys kites is no slouch he's about 1500 1v one his teammate chris Yo, chris o, chris hoyer playing as the if you we're just gonna call him chris or yellow or the ethiopian player and ethiopians by the way also a super meta sip oh i'm getting harassed already so early on i'm getting harassed by both scouts they know they know i've played against paladin too much but actually we were able to recover quite nicely tried to steal those sheep but we're going to bring those sheep right back and hopefully keep our eco working for the most part now i do kind of want to show you uh kites's build because kites does his quadruple archery range rush slightly differently than mine but i can't because we are going to be double scout harassed psych we're going to be singular scout harassed as we absolutely merc is oh, no loom no loom why why oh that's painful and look look at this show off over here uh i i w <sighs> i i may have tried to cast this game once before but look at this look at this look at this show off oh god a oh, moonwalk on his face anyway i just wanted to show you that little bit of harass let's quickly go to uh kite's perspective over here and see how he's doing I am so psyched for this. Okay, so he goes... Actually, he is pushing in that extra deer as well. Uh, to make up for my villager loss, I decided to push in all three deer. And he's faster than me. He, he's... Oh, we're double double luring. I love the double lures as well. He's managed to kill all three of his deer. His eco is looking quite healthy, quite strong. And Kites does something interesting with his build. Instead of going all in archers, he actually put some onto food to maintain villager production and not make the archery rush as all in and i think that's a very very smart variation except i'm not very smart i just send it i just yolo the bejeebies out of it every single time because that's just how i enjoy <laughs> playing the game uh, a little bit of scouting over here very very good to know what resources you can hit and we should all be on the way to feudal age relatively soon it looks like chris and kites are already up red's taking a little bit longer and oh that could be a dead scout over here nice dipping and dodging from oh right on the front right on the front and this could be immediate damage against paladin which is really good now i was kind of thrown off here a little bit uh, because of that villager pickoff so i actually just invested into a couple extra villagers so if you look at the uh, overall population we have a pretty okay villager count 22 nice wall offs from red by the way 
Now, even though you don't have a full wall, walling off is definitely still worth it, especially if you're a newer player. And the reason for that is you know where the pressure is going to come from, and that way you kind of focus your attention on one spot. Or if you manage to full wall, then obviously you just have to focus on where they're trying to break through. Three archery ranges before the blacksmith. He's actually going to delay his fletching until he has four ranges already which i don't think is a bad decision uh, oh oh look at this variation as well dropping a tower on the berries and the farms Ooh, that's nasty is he gonna try and find a better spot over here oh uh, even more forward gross <laughs> absolutely gross and red's only now feudal i wonder if red's gonna go for a uh, a fast castle as he is fully walled that's not the best idea in my opinion especially when you're facing off against feudal aggression you could really get punished for that uh, does manage to get basically full walls up and this is quite nice quite nice indeed i don't know guys don't question it we make a lot of mistakes in this game especially since this game goes all the way up to imperial age don't judge me too hard uh, <laughs> I figured that yellow, because he was so much faster to feudal, already had a whole bunch of archers. And because he's Ethiopians, he's actually able to uh, get more out of those archers with that 18% faster firing rate. Now, I was a little bit wrong in that regard, but still, I didn't really want to have to deal with that. Oh, getting so much value out of that one tower is kites. And uh, the pressure's on. This is where Saracen Archers are super useful if your opponent is full walled. I think he could definitely still walk around and potentially get through in that manner. Oh, and they're pumping. Three ranges. He's Tati rushing it with Kumans. Nice. Nice indeed. But at this point, you might as well just pick Saracens if you're going to go for free ranges. But I, I think having Kumans gives you just so much variety as you can easily drop a scout. Ooh, going for a market wall behind. Yeah, Paladin's definitely greedy, fast, castling over here. Where are our... Oh, nice! We actually managed to get one pickoff from yellow. And uh, we have the numbers. We got the juice over here. And these boys already have fletching, four archer ranges, Full producing, as you can see in the queue over here. And uh, Yellow is now sending his archers to go and help Red, which allows us for an opportunity to hit Yellow. Also, putting these underneath the tower. Nice plays over there. Although, this is going to take forever to take down this tower. Once again, Saracen archers with a triple range might actually be better. Oh, did he build the blacksmith at home? Oh, okay. He's starting to create a little wall off at home. He does have three on food over here, and this is about the time where we start moving forward uh, as Yellow's archers are... are, are, are oh, I'm so bad at looking at these maps, guys. Okay, he, he, he did pull them back, probably expecting me doing something uh, absolutely bonkers. And let's see if we can get any pickoffs on these villagers. Blue is still... Oh, I, was, I, <laughs> I was like, oh, he's right on top of him. Well, that tower might actually eventually go down. That wasn't the best tower over here. It's going to retreat them. Interesting. And we're just trying to see if we can pick off some vills over here. I think we get like one or two. Uh, some of these are weak. The archers are coming in. That's quite a large quantity, especially since there's four skirmishers, five skirmishers mixed in there. So we're going for the hill. And now this is an engagement we feel comfortable taking. Boop! Oh man, it's so much fun. I mean, we have uh, the numbers over here. 11 and there's only 5 left over here. Yeah, I'll take that. Even though he has our counter unit, we can definitely take that engage. Oh, can we get that last skirmisher? The scout coming in for the clutch. Doink! And oof, running into more towers. A lot of archers wasted from kites. Now, kites told me that when he was playing this game, he was experiencing tons and tons of of lag i think this game would not have gone to imperial if kites's game wasn't lagging as much another tower just so that he can take that edge of the stone and red really just wants to fast castle behind this but with this many archers 
going to be kind of tricky to manage to get to Castle Age, to say the least. Meanwhile, we're doing tons of harassing over here. We have the numbers. We just took a good engage, and we're just going to retreat. Uh, we, we honestly kind of want to add scouts at this point just to deal with all of these skirmishers, but that is a fight that we will definitely take, especially with the scout in the middle of that. Going for Spearman, doink, get that spear. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. We really do start tapering off once we get to uh, 200 pop. You'll see how messy my, my play is at that point. Actually, this is already not good. This uh, skirmisher should not be getting that many kills. We lost a whole bunch of... Our army. I signal that yellow is over here. I was wondering how much damage he had done to red at this point. And, and red's actually not doing too bad of a job. Paladin, he's kind of beastly. Here come all the archers. And this, this is going to be a sad, sad story. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. It's totally fine. Uh, I felt like we were still doing relatively all right. But I think that Kite saw the score and thought that I was struggling significantly more than maybe I was. Although if we look at the villager count, red, sorry, yellow does have the highest vills currently. Oh no, running back and forth. What's he doing over here? He's trying to see if he can hit some more uh, vills. And indeed he can. They have to abandon the wood line. And we have the numbers. We have relatively good numbers. But that's a lot of skirmishers. Pincer formation. Get him! Uh, I felt comfortable taking this engage as uh, we have pretty good numbers over here. In hindsight, I feel like this is probably more cost effective. Oh, trying to micro over there. No bueno, Poop Lord. What, what, what do you think? You can play Age of Empires, you can't play nothing. We still have like 22 archers over here, but full skirm production from the Ethiopian player, and he's a pretty solid eco, even constructing a tower just to keep me out, and I did not want to engage against eight skirmishers. Uh, 21 archers? Maybe I could have taken that. Maybe I could have taken that. So I'm thinking to myself, I probably need some uh, some scouts as more and more archers, and this is, this is not a good placement. It takes so long for these archers to get there, and I'm thinking about adding scouts at this point, uh, Red is still in this game by some miracle. Oh no, oh no, oh, this was because of the lag. Oh, we lost oh, so many archers there. That is super painful. Oh man. And now we're kind of, oh no, no, lag, oh no. How are you doing? Not so well. Oh my god, the froze here. The absolute froze. Oh, he's still lagged out. Um, lagging? Uh, not so good. Oh, my archers just got clean. Oh, my God. Oh, F. F indeed. And now all of Kite's army is gone. We still have 39 archers, and that's right. We went for a stable at home. We did put some villagers onto food. And now we're producing villagers as well. Because we are realizing this game is going to transition into castle at some point And into the late game. Stupid. Took like two minutes of lag. Lost all of my archers. Ugh. That is, that is pretty brutal. Our, our score actually went to second place as well because of this. And I don't, oh man, this is great. He's sending his skirmishers forward, not knowing that I still have heaps and heaps of army. He wasted 30 archers, 30 archers thrown to the wind, just dust in the wind. Oh man, the inefficiency of some of these miners over here. Those are the minor things that really start to add up over time. Constructing that farm. Ooh, garrison? Nope. Nope. Not fast enough. Uh, meanwhile, we're also harassing over here, which is kind of funny. Uh, wanted to get some kills, and now I'm realizing that I'm getting harassed over here. Now, scrims are not a great unit as... 
harassment they don't do a whole bunch of damage especially since uh, villagers do have two pierce armor so every shot is only doing one damage so they need 40 total shots and we're actually amounting our scouts over here it was two scouts uh, against 15 skirmishers maybe not the best but if we can get four or five scouts out that would be perfecto also we don't have bloodlines on these guys yet so i didn't really feel super comfortable engaging and we should actually move these uh these archers in over here see if we can do some damage and indeed we do but there's skirms fight it anyway fight it anyway we are focused over here cleaning up these skirms so i don't know if this is a good or a bad engage it looks pretty okay just because we had the numbers over here we had about 30 to 40 archers uh, maybe a little bit more actually and we are we are cleaning up we are cleaning house even fighting underneath a tower sure poop lord just doing poop lord things i suppose oh man the the nuttiness of it all and and players are now going to castle age both kites and red are up to castle and myself and chris are still producing archers look at this queue we need so many houses we're already at 71 pop 30 of which are archers in the back of yellow's base oh i uh, <laughs> i, I want to speed it up to, to to get to some of the juicier sections but honestly like this game has been so action-packed I mean, I, I don't even know what's going on over here. We have some uh, some knights being produced. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Blue decided to bring his army over to this side to try and squeeze yellow as yellow was doing the best. Now, we're going to bring over our scouts here so that we can more easily engage, engage, engage against these skirmishers. And the squeeze is on. Here come the scouts. Oh, probably should pull that one scout back, but you know what? It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. Even has a spearman in there. Oh, not the best engagements here. Actually, not bad. We are clearing up a whole bunch of those. Oh, would have liked to have killed that archer a little bit sooner. Pulling back that scout. Harassment over here on the wood line. And this should be GG right here, right? This should be... GG, we're definitely going to overtake the score lead at this time. And uh, absolutely clear up yellow. Except it's not. It's not GG. Because Paladin is going to put his foot on the accelerator. Nice clear ups over here. I also think that um, one thing that Kites could have done in this situation, since he does have so many knights, uh, and these knights do have one defense upgrade, I think he could have just gone underneath the town center there's no way that he can garrison all of these and he can definitely take a good engage on their deck killing all of yellow's villagers oh mass exodus over here from yellow we're just trying to pick off whatever we can and this is tough stuff red meanwhile clearing up his base and we got a game on our hands indeed Where's where's yellow going? Where where are you going, dude? He's going castle. What's he what's he doing over here? What? I'm kind I'm kind of lost for words. What 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 are we doing? Meanwhile, we're we're just we're just fighting everything we can. You, you know, you might as well take out the lumber camps uh, if you do have nothing else that you can really hit. Uh, saw the skirms. Try and get the skirms. A whole bunch of yellow's villas are are heading to kites. Now, once again, I've only seen this from my perspective. We're still feudal age. We should probably start thinking about going a castle at some point, right? Nah, it's fine. Don't worry. What, what is Chris doing? Is he really going to collect forward stone? Can he see that? He can see that he's over here. Man, that is a... Ballsy play. <laughs> he probably thinks kites would never be this suspicious. Just in what world 
Is this a good idea? Also, Kites is, is lagging like a madman. He's definitely not doing as much as he could. Trying to engage over here against these knights. Actually taking a pretty solid engage. Keeping his forward alive for the most part. But as Kumans, even if you do lose your forwards, it's not the end of the world. More knights coming in. Trying to snipe those mangoes. Definitely does snipe those mangoes. Getting good value out of these knights while being significantly outnumbered. We're trying to snipe off whatever villagers we can here. And uh, it is chaos in yellow's base, so except that he has 16 villagers forward mining stone. What are we watching? Honestly, we have a, we have a poop lord going for full feudal army, 50 archers over here, and 8 scouts. Uh, Kites is lagging like a madman. He's like, Rrr. also going for... A similar composition instead of scouts he has knights actually switching more into night play which I definitely agree with as yellow is going for all of those skirmishers going to be dropping castle in his face and I think this exactly this is a time where you can definitely justify jumping underneath the TC there's so many villagers idle over here he could be getting so many kills meanwhile what what <laughs> and Kites is too lagged to do anything about this. Oh, I guess he wasn't that lagged. He only, you know, hindsight 22. Oh, poop. Oh, poop. Indeed. Oh, man. The amount of uh, kills over here. Oh, yellow. That's rough. His villager count is completely reduced to the lowest of all. We're still feudal age. We're getting, you know handcart over here we are chilling and a half yellow's relocating to the front of kites blaze and only now are we going to castle age uh oh gonna get harassed too by red and his army is not in position to deal with this i like this castle actually it keeps a lot of his eco relatively safe and yeah this could be very very bad now all of a sudden we are in the back oh no Oh, you definitely clicked that to another TC. Yikes. Oh, that was so many. So, so many. Free kills for them. Yeah, lagging really badly. He didn't do anything about that. I think he could have kept slightly more of them alive, but didn't have any such luxury i was going over to try and hit red to the best of my ability uh, i have 50 archers over here and could definitely get some uh, some pickoffs on this wood line or at the very least make red's life as difficult as possible so kites has now lost a whole bunch of villagers red is oh man look at this reaction time only lost three on that wood line over here and i think he lost one over here and there's no hole so we have to go back here and there's towers everywhere Oh, and another castle. Slow push indeed by Chris. How did how did that play of sending 16 villagers forward, now 18 because the TC has created more, actually work out? But we are getting all the upgrades. Our eco is not too weak. We have 54 villagers still remaining, but Paladin could really carry his team to victory if we don't manage to do any damage against paladin we might be in a world of hurt so i was trying to see what he has okay there are the knights over here i signaled that to kites and we definitely want to shoot these as much as we possibly can and i was kind of proud about this engage look at this oh man oh man and run and hit and run and hit and hit and run and hit and run that is such a favorable engage over here. And we're just going to back up and kill absolutely everything. Would have been really favorable if we had ballistics. But you know what? I will take that engage any day of the week. We got the armor upgrades. We got the attack upgrades. This army is relatively strong. Kites is going for counterplay to red and yellow isn't even in this game only has 34 villagers and he's up to imp he could now push these castles back and uh, this should be smooth sailing right 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 maybe who knows 
Kites is lagging as a madman. You have wood? I could really use some wood. No wood for you. We're still producing from uh, from this really uh, awkward spot over here on the side, as I mentioned before. And they have to walk all the way past Red's army. That's not optimal, to say the least. Uh, so we decide to make archery ranges forwards. Uh, I do mess up significantly in this game on several different occasions, but... What, what what madness, man. What absolute madness this game is. I was thinking, okay, we could we could maybe push in to Red's base at this time as I have tons of archers. Oof, that's a lot of pikemen to deal with. But there's not too much in the back. Didn't know that he had this many towers in his base. And I'm thinking that there's a hole over here and that he could run in potentially. Uh, but Kites is hesitant because he doesn't want to get cleared up at home. I believe he actually says something about that. Can run in. And he goes, yeah, that's cool and all, but, uh, and let you hit me, question uh, mark. I'm like, I'm, I'm your teammate. I, I probably wouldn't hit you. And that's a lot of cav over here. <sighs> I think we did get ballistics at this point because I did see a university up from me and we can push this TC. So overall, not looking terrible. We're actually getting up in the villager count. Paladin's still definitely ahead with the total number of vills, but uh, we're booming quite nicely. Oh man, Yellow's booming back here in his old base. Kind of a, a ghost town over here if I'm being completely honest with you. Red now also Imperial Age. Uh, I wonder if he actually uh, constructed a treb I feel like a treb would be very, very useful to get rid of some of these uh, castles right on his face and potentially take yellow out of the game completely. Yeah, there is a treb, and the trebs are going to start occurring over here. And we're just slow and steady, pushing the back door of Paladin Space. Okay, that sounded a little bit wrong, especially coming from a poop lord. I have plenty of experience with that. Uh, going poop lord that is. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm just having fun with it. What, uh, when I cast these longer games, sometimes I don't even know what to say. The, the absolute madness of it all. I mean, I can kind of keep track of what's going on in this situation as Cavalier is coming in and uh, I'm definitely not prepared at home to deal with Cavalier. We have a, a little... Uh, Island over here of archers, uh, that's going to get cleared up. So that's not great. And then we have nothing to protect ourselves. I was actually so focused over here. Uh, Mango over here, don't want to lose my 56 archers, so we do retreat those. I'm telling him that I'm getting hit over here. And uh, how do I deal with this many cavalier? I decided to go for uh, additional TCs wherever I could. And we are quickly trying to get enough stone to drop a defensive castle. And like I said, I really start tapering off once we get close to 200 pop. 149 pop. And you can see how absolutely garbage my eco is at the moment. We have 46 idle villagers now going for the castle. Very fortunate that Red decided to run in over here and uh, try and kill some of these villagers. I mean, not fortunate that he's killing my villagers obviously but at the same time if he ran over here i think he could have killed significantly more especially without that castle we're getting stoned like a madman now we could actually drop another castle we still have tons of crossbow over here forcing a defensive castle from red and what is blue up to at this time looks like he's trying to push over here oh that's unfortunate that he didn't spot that yeah i do say hey yeah yellow is <laughs> What? Why is <laughs> why is yellow over here as well? My university has just been burning forever just from the Cavalier. And my game is definitely, 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 definitely slowing down. Where is he going? Yellow is just trying to expand absolutely everywhere. He tried to expand on Blue's face. That didn't really work out. Yeah, you're talking about lagging badly. My game is lagging quite badly as well going for kip checks is kite now i didn't know he was going for kip checks i didn't actually see a whole bunch of them 
Uh, so I actually figured, what do we go for uh, if we do go Imperial Age at some point? And not that we're going to, because we're the Poop Lord. We never go Imperial Age. And honestly, we should win this game now, right? Mm, this is still quite a close game, especially since my entire eco is getting absolutely demolished. And Paladin is coming in for Paladin. Paladin coming in for Paladin. Makes sense. Checks out. And I didn't have the opportunity to push over here. We're still engaging, but oh no. I'm, I'm losing track of things, guys. And we're getting absolutely cleaned up here as well. It's just bad news bears all over the place. And yeah. I showed this to you guys because, um, well, you know, you, you, can't, you can't win them all. You can't win them all. Comics, thankfully, coming over to help me out. And I think we're actually in the worst position. Oh, no. Yellow's still in the worser position. Worser. Worser position than I am. Still a slow and steady push from blue. Just killing absolutely everything. Uh, that mining camp is not going to matter too much. Paladin, though. And a lot of Paladin with that. Where is gold? Yeah, I didn't know at this point where gold was at all. I did know that yellow was over here, so we're going to try and kill as many of these villas as we possibly can. And you know what? Drop a castle on that TC's face. Oh, don't lose these crossbows for free. That's the only thing you got going for you, poop. Is, f what, 54 crossbows? Got to keep those alive at this point. And this game has somewhat stabilized, maybe, sort of kind of i don't know uh, i'm saying that yellow is over here uh not much of a point in in saying that uh he sees that i'm dropping that Ooh, looks like we have some uh, engages going on over here clearing up the forward from kites is paladin killing more villagers and at this point what do you what do you do well it looks like Paladin and Kites are, are relatively evenly matched. Actually, Paladin is doing maybe slightly better than Kites, but I'm doing slightly better than Chris. So I was kind of thinking just boom, 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 get up to Imp, and then see if I can help Kites out with the counter unit to Paladin's play. You need gold, I could sling. So I could sling him gold at this point, and he says... Nah, I actually already figured it out. And he has the counter. He has all of the counter years. To, oh, just passing. That was such a weird passing over there. Uh, but these helps are not just passing. Going to get no kills either. What is What is going on? I mean, this is stabilized in the weirdest way possible. Blue... <laughs> this Trev is going to get taken out by Light Cab. Sure, that's fine. I'm working on him. We're, we'll get there one of these days. Trying to find some damage with these Paladins. The Paladins are getting chased down by Camels. Going to get some kills for that, but you definitely don't want to throw away expensive Paladins against Halbs and against... Kip checks and against camels is not the best option. I was so confused with Paladin's trebs in this game. Uh, that treb that he threw earlier. And you know what? We're just going to kill this with villagers because we don't have army on the spot. Our army is over here. Uh, absolutely murked the rest of Yellow that was down here. Yellow's now back re booming at his old base, I guess. Kind of, sort of. And this actually gets cleared up very quickly and very nicely from Kite, so I was very grateful for that. We still have this weird, like, whatever this is going on at the front of our base, and these Paladins are actually shredding my castle, which is kind of crazy. Probably could have gotten the uh, university upgrade for that. Uh, we did actually eventually research the most powerful tech in the game, Murder Holes, and these Paladins are all going to be thrown away or are they 
Are you going to be able to take down this castle or is this castle going to be able to take down these paladins? I have no idea. Yellow is just making forward military buildings right on top of my face. I'm not too pleased with that to say the least. Oh, the repair, the clutch repair. We were down to uh, 200 HP there for a second. And at this point we could probably clear this up. I didn't realize that this TC did not range any of those paladins. This farmer is literally farming in paladin behinds and does not care. Do your thing. Do your thing indeed. Oh, these are palisade walls. I was like, is he raiding him from forward? Uh, and this is now a little bit awkward because there are throwing axe and those are going to be able to clear up those helps relatively easily and actually should do good work against camels as well. And that's a lot of paladin. I don't know in whose favor that's going to be. Now, I want to go for uh, Arb and then I realized something. I realized that humans <laughs> don't get arb because with this strategy i've never gotten to the point where arb was ever required now that arb is required well i guess we're gonna have to go for kip checks so that's exactly what we're going to be doing we're going to be going to produce kip checks and plenty of them I forget why I made some archers over here. I think just to, to hold over here. Oh, my ram is getting rammed. That's not great. Ugh. Getting some knights in here as well is, is not the worst thing in the world. And this was really awkward for me to uh, deal with all of these skirmishers. Repairing the siege workshop. That's hilarious to say the least. Would have really benefited from uh, getting a mango out here. But the only one still in castle is yellow. So I figured, you know what? We should focus on hitting red if we can stop red we probably win this game and honestly this game should have been over a long time ago if kites hadn't lagged out and thrown 30 archers underneath the tower and skirmisher i think this would have been a very very different game stupid franks absolutely wrecking and now they have the you know, they have the throwing axemen and stuff and yeah, he's getting slow pushed to the point where he's probably going to lose against Paladin, who's spamming Paladin. Uh, we're raiding over here. This is not the best raiding. Actually throwing a whole bunch of... De don't, no, just put your hand on the screen like I just did. Don't look at that. Oh, these villagers are actually running to their death. That's kind of favorable. We did get a bunch of kills there. Uh, but definitely did not keep track of our army here. We're, we're losing track of all the things are going on we're we're trying to figure out this over here the skirmish just got cleared up by kites was very happy about that i said i have more skirmishers to deal with over here and now we are going to go for kip checks finally also producing a whole bunch of rams to uh, clear this up at some point and uh yeah we'll see how that goes absolutely see how that goes at this point this video has already been way too long uh, I hope you guys enjoy the absolute lunacy. Red's not doing the best job pushing quickly here, to be honest with you. He is slow and steadying this for sure. And I don't think that that's the best play because it's allowing me to get back into the game. Need anything? No, I got this. I'm lagging like crazy, thinking about quitting. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's maybe not quit. That would probably be favorable. I would like to uh, win this game. At this point, we've already played 1 hour and 15 minutes in-game time. Now, in-game time is a little bit faster than uh, regular time, obviously. But but still, it's like you play 2 hours to lose like this. That's not great, as my computer is also uh, lagging from just the amount of units on the field right now. Everybody's over 100 pop. Actually, Paladin's about to be pop capped. We got Kip checks coming in just at the right time as he's getting trebbed. We come in with those clutch boys. And I think some of these are elite Kip checks. I don't know if we got the upgrade or if these are just from the unique tech. Unique, unique tech is kind of weird in that regard. Everybody, every one of your teammates gets 10 elite Kip checks. But you know what? We're not complaining. Oh, gets that shot on that treb. That's very, very nice. And we can absolutely clear up everything. Kipchaks counter everything 
that Paladin has over here. And this is a very, very favorable engage for us. Yellow still kind of out of this game. Only at 75 villagers. Paladin actually now way worse off. But Paladin has the army numbers at least. He has Paladins. But for how much longer? If you throw him away like this. Oh, I love Kipchaks. They can just forever. They can run and shoot. Run and shoot. We got a couple of free Paladins over there. We'll take that for sure. And now it's our turn to push. Back and forth. Back and forth. Ooh. Got to gotta micro these poop a little bit better. And I was having a lot of fun microing with, uh, with the Kipchaks. Don't look at the, uh, what is this, 18, 8 villagers? Oh, that's not too bad. 8 villagers that are idle. And we're about to hit pop cap as well. So now I'm thinking we could we could actually win this. Look at this ball of Kipchaks. First a ball of Archer. Now a ball of Kipchak. F. I said yellow wasn't doing very much, but this is exactly what yellow needed to do, is get the counter units to the counter units that I had for red's counter units. That's a lot of counter units that we're talking about here. Oh, but this is a nice engage over here. Uh, killing villagers, killing throwing axemen, killing halbs. Trying not to lose too many of my kipchicks, as more kipchicks are still arriving. And we really need hustler spam in this to clear up all of these skirmishers if we do manage to clear up the skirmishers we should be able to snowball this push into victory i also realized that those rams that i had over here to clear up this push uh they should be somewhere coming over very choo choo the train is at the station and we are going to push hard i figured you know what we got the ram upgrade might as well get the absolute most out of it ah if only there were slightly more hustlers over here i think this would have been way more favorable of an engage but even still we're doing relatively well even against full skirmisher but i i didn't want to stick around for too too much longer get the rams in front and kill all of the skirmishers that way here is the hussar spam from kites and kites is producing these by the foursome hey it's the quadruple hussar rush uh not really but this is going to soak up so many shots uh, these rams are so now i felt kind of comfortable engaging against this and i think overall we we took a, 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 a we took smart engages we 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 used the hill to our advantage we put rams in front to make sure that halbs and other nasty stuff wasn't going to hit our precious gold units and we are running out of gold at this point there is no gold to be had anymore and now we can just press this home to victory maybe probably or we could lag out which is also a total possibility picking off trips from paladin picking off castles oh that's a lot of helps probably should have protected these rams a little bit better but that's definitely still going to go down and uh keep it rolling uh probably should yeah make them go this way and also i'm probably trying to fix my eco uh, that's why we only have 10 idols but we should probably be focusing more on military than we are on eco right now oh, also not the best to engage against the archer range you have so little time with your ram rush uh, before maybe your opponent starts pushing back oh and look at this we got that down and those villagers that came forward that was the plan all along was to take paladin's gold and paladin has done a really really good job rebooming keeping himself at about 100 villagers and now that's all going back to waste he needs more military here yellow doing a great job producing military now they're, they're kind of taking turns uh, doing what they need to do just to survive but at this point we have taken the lead by about a thousand score and i was feeling quite good we still have tons of gold units on the field we're ramming down castles there's no way this can possibly swing in our opponent's favor, right? Right? Also, let's see uh, how close Kites is to hitting Popcap over here. Uh, definitely should have slung him some more food. Look how much food I have in the bank. I figured that Kites was already Popcap, but he's not. Market, yeah, so there was a market back here that we found. So, you know what? No gold for you, Paladin. No gold for you, Chris. We're going to be uh, keeping that nice and safe uh, using the rams wherever we can just to snipe down and there's a castle here i forgot about that 
I want to harass, but there's not much to harass here. And this should be game, right? This should be game. Oh, also, Yellow tried to go for a wall off over here, and I uh, I stopped that. Once again, it, it is actually quite smart to wall off certain sections. Not because then all of a sudden you're full walled, but because you can focus on the aggression in one spot, which just Yellow is doing a very, very good job at. He's just focusing on holding right here. I should have slung, I should have slung to kites for sure. Looking at this now, it's easy to say, and I didn't realize, because I'm at 200 pop, so there's no reason that I should have 5,000 food in the bank. That's just kind of silly. Also, we still have 19 on gold uh, because of, <laughs> of that forward gold that we took. Oh, that wasn't the best ram. Back up. Too late. Too late. I wasn't even looking at the text. I was like, move forwards and onwards. Just just kill everything. Actually, with all of the kip checks here, I think we can probably take out this, uh, this castle. There are a lot of skirmishers here, though. So that was definitely not... I think that was definitely the right decision to move back from kites. Because look, look at our pop count. That just dropped real quick. But we did get the castle in the end. Once again, if I had just sent my food to Kites, this game would have also been over here. I'm quite convinced. Yeah, because Kites is the only one who is below 150 pop. We have gold units here, but our counter units are all over the place. There's halbs here. There's skirmishers here. Definitely a misplay on my part. Not slinging my teammate res and now we're only at 170 and the population count is going in yellow and red's favor switch into champion or sorry two two-handed swordsman do uh do kumans actually get i'm kind of curious about that yeah they do get champion that's what i thought okay okay uh yeah, totally knew that that was the image of uh, two-handed swordsman and not a champion. I'm not a, a complete nub. Okay, I'm a complete nub. Uh, sometimes the two-handed swordsman and the champion kind of confuse me, guys. I'm not, I'm not the smartest two in the shed. Okay. Now we're switching in to um, hustle ourselves because we're really we're out of gold. Yeah. Where did this base even come from? I'm thinking to myself, these villagers that I cleared up over here, maybe one of two snuck over here into the back, collected wood, constructed a TC, constructed a castle, and now I have to deal with whatever's going on over here as well, and uh, messy, messy stuff. Main push, however, is still happening over here. We're raiding absolutely everything. You gotta give credit where credit is due. Paladin and Chris have done an amazing job keeping their eco alive and they're very good standard players i honestly am not i just kind of do mimi strats when it gets to this point in the game i don't know what to do anymore look at this 45 idols basically half of my economy is just idle i don't know what to do I'm just like, uh, spam hustler. And we definitely did not make the most efficient use of our hustler as, uh, we ran out of 5k food like that. Do you have gold? No, there is no more gold on the map, at least so far as I'm aware. And neither of us have trade. So thankfully, this game is not going to go on forever or is it we still have a little group of kip checks but if we can just push through this main body over here if we can just harass with enough hustler uh, i also at some point yeah realized that uh we need to fix this problem poop oh my god look at look at this long distance like half my eco is idle half my eco is long distance chopping now we suddenly finally realize and start correcting some of our mistakes over here what is this what no you should not have a lumber whatever whatever 
This game has been going on for way too long. It's way too late here in the evening as well. But I wanted to get this game out to you guys as soon as I possibly could. Absolute... What the... Am I watching? I have no idea. 31 villagers, still idle. Uh, I'm very happy I don't have capture age at this time. Because my idle villager time would be through the absolute roof. Trying to construct another market is red. But we're not going to let him have any gold. Uh, what did I do with these villagers over here? I, I don't even I don't even know. They just <laughs> stop at and then I realized, oh, I don't have enough stone for a castle. I don't have <laughs> just start farming here. Sure, sure, why not? Um, it was clicking over here like, hey, you still have uh, rams over here. Why don't you ram down these castles and i think that's actually a very good decision i mean looking at this now i'm like still like wait what was he with the oh and then i read the text and oh okay ram the castle so that's what we're going to do uh meanwhile over here champions fighting against what appears to be halbs what is what is life at this point look at look at the mini map man absolute nonsense that castle actually got taken down by champion kites have recovered really really well and now i am the one no paladin is the one with the lowest pop count and we are slowly but surely getting our numbers up again spamming calf from here into this side now because spamming calf from oh look how ridiculous this is how easily affordable 14 and another 10 stables and I think there's like one more stable over here. I, I just want to know how many stables I have. Yeah, there's one stable burning over here. Just having a good time. Uh, 35 stables we constructed in this game? Stupid. Just, just stupid. 45 on food. That's not too bad. Actually, there's a pretty good ratio of uh, lumberjacks to food and we're, we're actually getting back i mean they don't want to give up right at this point you've played one hour and 42 minutes to die like this but it's certainly looking more and more in our advantage i don't even know if there's a main fight at this point anymore it's just it's just everywhere yellow and red are bleeding yellow still has this awkward corner up here but uh, even that is getting cleared out by a couple of Hussar that I'm able to send from over here. So I think, why not just plop down tons of military buildings as Kumans? I actually would love to see Kumans uh, teamed up with Slavs to get that uh, military building get five pop bonus. In that point, you can just produce military buildings instead of houses, which would be kind of awesome as well. And we're just gonna we're just gonna ram down absolutely everything at this point our production is on point because we're producing from 10 different stables and we can keep producing just keep making horses uh, although we are actually gonna get housed uh, yeah okay we, we, we did actually get housed so you know what poop does singular villager constructing a whole bunch of houses actually uh we have this guy helping out. It's it's a love story. These two villagers were tasked to construct a whole bunch of houses. And they met in the middle, got married, loved each other for a long period of time. And Red Paladin has called GG at this point. And what a game this has been. I mean, he's down to 50 free pop at this point total, so... No way that he could defend. I think this game was actually maybe over 5 or 10 minutes ago. But, like I said, you've played 1 hour and 40 minutes. If there's even 3% chance of coming back, even 2% chance of coming back, you probably want to take that. And I was wondering, like, is Yellow salty at this point? Like, why is Yellow not doing anything? I mean, I'm happy to boost my KD artificially 
as is Kites, but, um, come on. What's, what's the point of continuing here? Is yellow salty? Like, I was, I was kind of confused. Like, uh, what? Yellow? Are you, are you a salty boy? And yellow actually plays on for the next uh, four hours. No, I'm just kidding. It ends right there. So yellow was a little bit salty, but not too, too salty. And, uh, let's take a look at the, uh, at the statistics. Why don't you? What an absolute... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say about this game. Actually, I don't even know if I should have casted this game. Uh, my wife is looking at me like, maybe you should recast it? No, I'm not recasting this. Ever. My gosh. That took so long. Let me look at my, uh, my OBS. Almost a full hour to cast this game. I, I wonder how much of you, how many of you, have actually watched this video in full, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's it's a crazy 300 special. I hope you enjoyed it. There were a lot of twists and turns along the way. And look at these KDs over here. 1,142 units killed by kites. 730 lost. Myself, 755 and 436. You know what they always say, if you don't have any eco, you can't lose your eco. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I, think I, I, I think I did a solid job. I think I came in uh, the clutch when uh, Blue was being pushed over at his base. And I managed to show up with Kip checks at just the right time and counter all of Paladin's composition i think that really helped out i don't think i deserve mvp and yeah kites does get the mvp but i think i held my own for the most part maybe sort of kind of i don't know Ooh, 96 highest military cool 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 chill 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 most gold collected because i stole a whole bunch of paladins gold that was fun i don't think there was any trade yeah no opportunity for trade and this is where we made a mistake i should have definitely sent food to kites so i did what i needed to do but i could have done more for sure i think that's every game that you look back on to be completely frank with you nice uh nice feudal nice castle nice imperial age as well uh, really slowing down our opponent's 30 minute mark to reach castle is quite late, but it makes sense if you're going for these all in archery uh, rushes. Village high, over boom from Chris, but he kind of needed to because he got so messed up in the beginning. And this timeline, oh man, what to even, uh, what to even make of this timeline? Oh my goodness. So, this obviously right here is when Kites and I went for those archery range rushes. Chris was going for double archery production as Ethiopians. No military from Paladin. Really greedy. Fast castle. And, and here is where the tables really turned. Because uh, we were well ahead. Look, we are well over the halfway mark. And then just 30 archers poof, down the drain from kites. Did still manage to get to Castle Age first. And then we kind of had to just hold and squeeze yellow as much as we possibly could. Killing his military, killing his eco whenever we had the chance. Fast forwarding, you know, f combat, combat, combat. Castle drop somewhere. I think the castle drop was... Where does Blue's eco decrease? Don't really know when that castle got dropped on Kite's face. But I do know when I lost all of my military. That wasn't super favorable. Uh, over here, I threw all of those kip checks in that final battle. Oh, I think this is where uh, I probably engaged against those paladins, those helps, and those throwing axemen. Which was awesome. To say the least. So that means that 
kites pro yeah probably got castle dropped right around here where there's a pretty big dip yeah because he got castle dropped garrisoned and then red came in took out that castle shot all of those villagers yeah yeah, yeah that makes sense man the story that is told within the timeline is often very underappreciated talking about very underappreciated i think you guys are very underappreciated i just want to thank you guys so much for you know communicating crazy strategies to me for giving me positive feedback on my commentary and on my videos uh, that i make and uh, you know just keep walking one foot in front of the other and one day